Astros and the Braves, game number two. Bet online odds. Astros $1.47 on the road, 9.5 the total, under minus $1.30. Peacock against Newcomb. Astros brought plenty of fireworks before July 4th this season. Record on the 4th of July last year, 43-39. and 56-27 this year. Altuve, Correa, and Springer all getting starts for the All-Star team. Keuchel and McCullers made the pitching staff as well. But how about Peacock, Teddy? Look at his numbers since coming in the, into the rotation. Yeah, it's insane. I mean, you have to wonder, with all the talent that Houston has, if moving Brad Peacock into the starting rotation, the best roll of the dice that they've had uh, all season. He's 5-1 and one with a 2.72 ERA. And the advanced metric number, how about this, a 2.40 uh, FIP, fielding independent pitching. And you talked about the graphic strikeouts per nine innings yeah you got sale yeah you got scherzer they're bums compared to peacock averaging more than 13 strikeouts per nine inning that's the best of baseball now how the heck did that happen this is a guy that ended the season 11 and 17 with a 4.57 era well there's two things that have happened one is that unlike most pitchers brad peacock is now working exclusively out of the stretch so he doesn't mess with his mechanics. He's doing it the same way out of the stretch all the time. And the second thing that's happened, look at the graphic. Brad Peacock has developed a slider. He's using, he's using it a lot, and it's pretty darn nasty. It's like, like Robbie Ray we talked about uh, last week, finding the breaking ball, the curveball. This guy's found the slider. Do you believe in the Braves? Look at their record last year on July 4th, 28-54. This is a great story. They're only a game under 500. As we tape this, only six and a half games out of the wild card, 25 and 20 without Freddie Freeman, 26 wins as dogs, Teddy, and the old retreads have been holding their own offensively. They sure have. Brandon Phillips, Nick Markakis, Matt Kemp, three moves that no one was excited about in the offseason, and yet all three guys have come to play, and they brought an element of veteran leadership to Atlanta they really didn't have last year. But the question here is about the pitching. Sean Newcomb, is it time to start believing in this guy? He was the number 15 pick by the Angels in 2014. He had uh, a decent shot at AAA, 3-3, three and three, 2.97, 11 starts to open the season. And now, a buck 48 ERA in four starts with the Braves. Now, obviously, he hasn't been as good as that ERA, but the field of the independent pitching numbers, 2.94, and the XFIP of 3.94 is still decent. Here's the quote from the center fielder. Ender Incarte. Quote, he's been impressive for us. Watching from center field, it looks nasty, his curveball and fastball. He has been really sharp, and it's been great for us. All right, money time. Play of the day. We'll stick with that game. Betting number 979-980. This game under 9.5. The young lefties on their first pass to the league. Advantage goes to Newcomb in this one. And uh, Peacock's been solid as well. Let's go under 9.5 on this 4th of July. Hey, guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.